We are here at AirVenture Oshkosh, getting near the end of the show, and we're down poking around to find the things we hadn't already found before, and we found a great one. Uh, we're talking with Larry Smith today of uh, Valley Engineering, and we have uh, talked to you last year at some length about yep. the backyard flyer. Looks to me like we got the front yard flyer now. Well, it's pretty, it's pretty hot. Now, this is your personal airplane, you told me. You yep. pointed out it's got your name on there. Yep. This one's experimental. You've, other ones have been Part 103 aircraft. That's correct. But this one looks quite a bit different, both in the airframe and it looks like it's got a big old engine up front. It what does. do we got going on here, Larry? Oh, this is our personal airplane we built just for fun. Just wanted something to really, really go. We call it the HP model. It's high performance. And um, we Still got the same basic welded aluminum, though, I see. Same basic so welded. So all this big brute looking tubing. That's it's a big, not as heavy as it looks. It's a big brother. It's a big it. brother yep. of the backyard flyer, huh? It's four foot longer wings, uh, 16 inch longer fuselage. Okay. Larger diameter tubes and heavier wall to carry the bigger engine. And um, just, a, just a real. Is the wings still swing? Still a swing wing. Four minutes to, from flying to end the trailer. Oh, yeah, I see the pins right back here yep. over your shoulder here. Got the same, disconnected. same pins, same ballistic parachute system. Love that. Always love hearing always, that. Always like that. Yep. Still disc brakes and big tires. Very big old tires on it. Big sturdy looking gear. Spring landing gear. But we got about 110 horse compared to our average 48 or so. <laughs> Uh, 110 horsepower, and we have a single place airplane here, mm -hmm. and yep. a fairly light one at that. What is the weight of the airplane, first of all? 425 pounds. So 425 pounds, and plus your 100 pounds of svelte weight here, or something yep. like that? and a little over 500 pounds of thrust on the motor. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can almost go vertical. It's a hoot to fly. <laughs> I'll yeah. bet it is. That was its whole intention. Uh, how long, what's the takeoff range or something? Uh, it's got to well, be pretty quick, huh? Sam Peachy's been flying it during the show about 30 feet. 30 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Lift it off. He applied huh? power, and I'm telling you, if the, the wheels never turn. <laughs> he just turns the corner and leaves. That qualifies a stove? I think it probably does. Or maybe that's like no. Or is that a helicopter? Well, sure. They, you know, it stole a short takeoff and landing. Yeah. This is like no distance takeoff yeah. and landing. We don't have a term for that. Anyway, right? maybe you guys a, do some really cool stuff. Maybe there's a prize for that. I think there must be. I hope if so, so, you'd win it. <laughs> so what else did you do different about the airplane that differentiates this from the other stuff? I mean, besides a big engine, besides a bigger tubing, I didn't do a whole lot. Just four foot longer wings is about it. I just wanted a little more lift. I wanted to have plenty of lift to get off the ground. Now, did you do that because it's a little bit heavier? Or a little bit heavier. Or just to give it more climb capability? M mainly just after climb. And a little longer tail, I understand, because you got more going on up you here. Got more heavy Good weight. to have a little better lever arm back yeah. there so yeah. that you got more authoritative uh, controls and so forth. Standard controls, though, I Standard see. Standard controls, everything's the same. Still slotted ailerons, flapperons. Still got the same 15 degrees of flaps built in. Okay. And, uh, and we got, well, we put six and a half gallons of fuel in the wing, which gives you an hour and 45 minutes of flight. Really? Even with this big engine? You can still yep. do an hour and 45 yeah, we, minutes we, on six gallons? We checked Sam on the you know, rotation, and about three three gallons an hour by what we're burning. Is that right? Wow. So we did real well. Now, is this based on your same, you guys have just been expert about using uh, generator engines, basically, in the past. Is this yeah. using some of that same stuff? No, no. This is just performance VW zone. Just, okay, just, this is a VW-based engine. strictly Type 1 performance. You know, we build, we build the Type 1 redrive for all, right? Right, right. The VW type one. And of course, I know where you get your props. Yep. Same we, backyard, right? We, we build Cobra props. So we brought something just to show our engine, our redrive, and our prop for the Volkswagen crowd. Uh, our biggest base is the World War One replicas. We sell a lot to them, big props, big sticks. We just brought something kind of normal, like you'd put on an Avid. If you had an Avid and wanted to convert to VW, this, this, this would about, be the engine. This would okay. be about what you'd Yeah, well, 110 horsepower. What does the engine weigh? Uh, it's about 205 pounds firewall forward, that okay. in, including propeller, electric start, redrive. Okay, that's a bit more than a Rotax 912, uh, actually several pounds more than a Rotax it, 912, a but it's also 912, more but it, horsepower, but, it but I'm guessing a, more, a dramatically less cost. And about half cost. Half yeah. the price, so. Yeah, 10 to 11,000 in that range. Is that right, okay. Depending on aluminum. This one actually has aluminum cylinders, It's and this one's about 195 pounds with, oh, okay. with aluminum cylinders. And it looks like you've got a pretty good sized prop on it, 74 inch prop there. Got a 74 like inch prop on this one. We can go up as high as 102 inches for the replica guys. <laughs> Is that right? And, uh, well, you'd need all the clearance that I see then, wouldn't well, you? Well, this, yeah, this plane's set up for 92 inch prop. 92 you could put on this? Yeah. Now, how would that change the characteristics if you pull this 74 off and put a 92 on it? What would that do to it? 
a little more performance, a little more takeoff, and it acts like a speed brake when you come out of the sky. You just pull back the power. Uh, it just big it just, just drag. It thing just drags you to the ground. Yeah. Well, it's really I'm, pretty neat. It's a I'm good kind of doubting fly. that it can take off any quicker because we just heard it can. Our faithful cameraman say that it didn't roll. <laughs> yeah. So how it, could you do any more than that? It, I guess you could just sit it on its tail and go straight up or something. But, it'll, uh, it'll get about 600 pounds of thrust with the big prop. <laughs> so, but you know, not everybody can use that big prop, so we didn't bring it. We just brought sure. something. We brought something normal, but yet really fun to fly. Well, you guys do a lot of that fun to fly stuff. We I was do. just thinking well, that exact word. We're pretty well basically down to the backyard flyer ultralight swing wing. And the one the, we saw last year. The one we had last year. It's available it, tail dragger or nose wheel, right? Tail dragger or nose wheel and then this one. That's, okay. That, but we're, we're going to stay with what we know. Now, you said this is your personal airplane. This, this particular this one we're looking airplane. at, but yeah. you'll sell somebody one. We would build another one if we needed to. So. <laughs> Money talks. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, any other you questions turn you can think of, Dave, that we need to ask here? No, just whether or not Gene's heart can take this, or flying this or not. <laughs> yeah. I think after this yeah, year. I saw your dad out here. That's your yeah. designer guy that's yeah. been with you for my, my many years. My dad's an engineer so. and he's the designer. But I'd say after this year, he's probably ready for electric. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking about that, I know. So we're yeah. going to hold you to that. This was my year. Next year's his year. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see what he brings next year. Well, we've long learned here at AirVenture Oshkosh that you come back to see what the Smith family brings to the show because I swear every year it's been something different. Yeah. And almost every one of those, in fact, probably everyone, has always commanded a good bit of attention. We have a good time. So I'm Dan Johnson speaking here with Larry Smith today of Valley Engineering Thank and Culver Props. Give us a web address. We're watching this on our computers here. Where do we go to find out more stuff about all the things you fellas do? At culverprops.com. Culverprops.com. More information about this, the valley, the uh, backyard flyer. We'll call this one the front yard flyer for now. <laughs> and uh, more about that and Culver Props available at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>